Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Tactical Chaos One bringing you another Division 2 video. Today we are doing a best builds video on the System Corruption gear set. So let's get into this real quick. But before we go over to the build, I'm sorry, take it back one notch. Thank you guys. Uh, before we get into the build, can you guys do me a favor? Slide on over, hit that little red subscribe button for me. Thank you, I appreciate the support. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you find this video helpful or if you just enjoy my gameplay content. Thank you guys. Anyway, now let's get into this. So what we got going on today is we got the technician specialization with the system corruption build. So let's go over how we got it all set up. First we got the attack vector mask with 14.1% weapon damage, 11.7 critical hit damage, and another 6% critical hit chance for my modification attribute. Then we got the Blended Threat Armor System Corruption chest piece with 154,000 armor attribute or core attribute, then secondary attribute, 6% 6, 6 critical hit chance with another 6% critical hit chance mod. Oh wait, let's go back over to the chest piece. And so what the chest piece has is for the talent, the hack step protocol is the talent, or the fourth piece talent of the um, system corruption, which before we get into that, oh, sorry, let's go over the system corruption. Fifth, two pieces gives you 15% armor on kill. Three pieces gives you disrupt resistance and pulse resistance. Four pieces gives you hack step protocol. Replaces armor kits with instant, infinite ability on a 20 second cooldown that repairs 20% armor and 50% bonus armor and hides your nameplate for 5 seconds. I guess the hide your nameplate works better for PvP, but... Anyway, so increases total weapon damage by 1% per 5% bonus armor gained. Up to 20%. Well, that's pretty cool. So then we come down here. The talent is compiler optimization. Decreases hack step protocol from 20 seconds to 15 seconds. And then we got the zero day knee pads. With 14.8% uh, weapon damage and 5.7% critical hit chance. The haptic bypass gloves with 13.1% weapon damage and 12% critical hit damage. And then we got the Memento backpack, which is what puts this system corruption build together, in my opinion. I never really liked the system corruption until the Memento backpack with it. It just went, it goes together very well. So, as you guys know, the Memento backpack gives us three core attributes weapon damage, armor, and skill tier. For my modification, I got 12% critical hit damage on there. And the talent is kill confirmed. Enemies drop a trophy on their death. Collecting this trophy provides both a short and long term buff. The first of which scales with the number of core attributes equipped in the last 10 seconds. So 5% weapon damage per weapon damage attribute. 10% bonus armor with the armor attributes. And 5% skill efficiency with the skill tier uh, attribute. For every trophy collected, gain an additional 1% weapon damage, 1% skill efficiency, and 0.1% armor regeneration for 300 seconds. That's the long-term buff. And that's the one that you notice will slowly be building up. Yeah, that's that. And the more you get it, the better your uh, character seems to operate. So... Yeah, the momentum backpack goes very hard with this because you're always getting bonus armor on collecting the trophies. And right here, you're getting bonus weapon damage with bonus armor. And you can also keep getting bonus armor with the hack step protocol. So you're basically constantly with bonus armor and high weapon damage with this build. It's super fun. And then we come over here to the Fodril holster, which is the Fenris group. Which, you guys know, the brand set has 10% assault rifle damage on it already. And then come down to core attribute, 15% weapon damage, 12% critical hit damage, and 6% critical hit chance. Yes, this is a god roll holster. I love this holster. It's great. And then we come over to our skills. I put the shock trap on here. Just so I can trap my enemies in the shock trap and lay into them with my weapon damage. 
and some seeker mines. I could switch that up to whatever fits the necessary mission. And then for my weapons, I have the Dark Winter, Perfect Killer, Killing an Enemy with Critical Hits, grants 50% critical hit damage for 10 seconds. And then I got the Chameleon Exotic Assault Rifle, which is awesome to run with this build. This is a great weapon to run with this build. I just love it. I've always loved the Chameleon anyway, but it goes great with the Memento and the System Corruption. So with this, we got 14.7 rifle damage. 14% health damage and 9.5% critical hit damages with a talent that says adaptive instincts hitting headshots grants 20% or hitting 30 headshots grants 20% critical hit chance and 50% critical hit damage for 45 seconds hitting 75 uh, body shots grants 90% weapon damage for 45 seconds that's awesome right there hitting 30 legs or 30 leg shots grants 150% reload speed for 45 seconds. Buffs refresh when out of combat. So when you're up running and gunning up close and personal, just straight getting it with this build. Using this weapon, it's, it works really well. You're getting that adaptive instinct thrown in there with the system corruption memento backpack. It's lovely. This is a great build, guys. You ladies, let me know what you guys think of it or how you run your system corruption. In the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you found this video helpful. And I look forward to seeing you guys on my next video. Thank you guys. This is Tactical Chaos 1.